How is the justice system dealing with the fallout of more than 200 dropped cases tied to a federal corruption investigation? Bernalillo County DA Sam Bregman sat down with the New Mexico News podcast to talk about those dismissed DWI cases and how his office is moving forward. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch has more on the interview. Dropped more than 200 mostly DWI cases and addressed public trust issues within the justice system. I have no choice as a prosecutor but to not go forward with a case that relies almost entirely on those officers' testimony because I will never, ever impugn the integrity of our criminal justice system by convicting someone, regardless of what they've done, based almost entirely or solely on the, on the testimony of a dirty cop. I won't do it. Albuquerque police initially placed six officers on leave as part of their internal investigation. Five of them have since resigned. Meanwhile, federal investigators are looking into whether certain officers were working with a local defense attorney and unlawfully accepting money in return for a dropped DWI charge. No one has been charged in this case yet. As far as past cases, some of these officers have been involved in. Bregman says he is holding the line on DWI convictions involving these officers. We do have some defense counsel, including some cases at the public defender's office, and they are they are asking them to un, the court to undo certain convictions. We are not agreeing to that. We're we're having specific hearings on each and every one of those. This is a a, a big, unfortunate um, disaster that took place, but uh, we're going to get through it because I can tell you, my office is committed as much as ever to prosecute DWI to the full extent of the law. Bregman says officer attendance in court is also better tracked. He also points out his office has convicted roughly 1,300 people for DWI in the last year. Marilyn Upchurch, KRQE, News 13. You can listen to the extended interview with DA Bregman on the New Mexico News podcast at KRQE.com.